With the release of the Elder Scrolls Online for consoles, I couldn't think of any better time to release this video. This is Mr. Sainscottzilla21, and today is my top 5 fantasy games. Please keep in mind that this is a my top 5, so the games on this list are those that I personally enjoyed over what you may expect from a regular top 5. Alright, let's get to it. Starting off at number 5 we have Conan. If you guys didn't know, I'm a hardcore fan of the Conan franchise, so when I discovered this game existed, it immediately took my interest. Also, it isn't half bad. I've been told this game is a God of War ripoff time and time again, but this game does try its best to be unique. Also, I can't help but love the interactions between Conan and other people. Perhaps you would serve a woman then. Service her. Aye, and gladly. At number 4 we have Fable 2. This game could be considered the Saints Row of fantasy games due to its crude humor and slapstick comedy. That was just as fantastic as always! But not only that, it has an abundance of activities similar to Saints Row as well. That's probably one of the reasons why I like this game so much. Actually, I like Fable 2 because it tries to do different things that makes it stand out from other games. Its hero or villain system can drastically change the way the game is played. Infamous and Bound by Flames has a similar system, but Fable did it first. And unlike many other fantasy games, you can interact with citizens to either make them like you, or love you, or hate you. This game might be weak on its fantasy lore, but why I personally like it is it's a range of features that lack in other fantasy games. And how many games can you say have a child getting shot out a window? There's not a lot of fantasy games that can pull off co-op, but Gauntlet Dark Legacies can only be played in co-op. Even though there's 8 realms in this game, massive boss fights, a large variety of unique monsters, and thousands of secrets that people are still finding to this day, only in co-op can this game be experienced the way it was intended. Some of the best gaming moments in my life involve playing this game in co-op. I know by today's standards this game looks like something you would delete off your phone, but if you can ever get a copy and you can convince some friends to play with you, I guarantee you'll have some fun. I don't know what to really say, it's Skyrim. Like Grand Theft Auto, everyone either owns or has played this game at one point. Skyrim takes everything good from Oblivion and polishes it to create one of the best fantasy gaming experiences to date. Probably the only reason this game isn't at number one is that I've never played the PC version. Till then, let's move on. Dragon's Dogma is everything in a fantasy game I never knew I wanted. From the creators of Resident Evil, Lost Planet, and Dead Rising, Capcom takes the best elements from all their games and combines it to make this masterpiece. However, what I like most about this game is its combat. I haven't played any fantasy game that pulls off the fighting this well. There's none of that dull, slow battles, it's all fast-paced movie-like action. It also helps that you can climb on any giant creature, making for the most memorable and epic fighting moments. It also doesn't hurt that the game uses a lot of unique and bizarre creatures that you don't normally see in other fantasy games. What's this? Allahu Akbar. Middle man and get right to the... Allah. Allah. 